If you've watched any of our vlogs, you know how much we love to eat and experience new foods. I cannot believe we've never thought to do a cooking class before. So today we are doing a full day at the Thai Secret Cooking School. Let's go. All right, thank you. I'm Nate. Nate, nice to meet you. Kara. Kara, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? May, like the month. We just got a list of everything we're gonna cook today, so now we're at the local market to pick up the ingredients. stir-fried dish to make. We're gonna go with Pad Thai. She said it was the and most the difficult best Thai. We learn about ingredients first and I let you walk around taking photo more. Naha. The banana that we're going to use today for banana in coconut milk is this one. Thai banana, the, the lady fingers. So you have, you've seen this in your country. This is sweet but less sweet than this one. This is stick to a firm. Try to feel things, smell things and taste them as much as possible. Huh? It makes you remember better. If you roast them, you know neighbor might not like you. <laughs> smell strong. See we have different sizes. We have big one, we have a small one here, tiny, and kind of medium here. Chili in Thailand, smaller spices. The best coconut milk by hand, don't melt. So today you're gonna get to taste it and compare the differences between them. I We just learned about all the ingredients that we're going to be using in our dishes today and now we're going to head to the farm. They're so good. She brought us our favorite snack. What all do you have in your basket? I have these blue flowers, lemongrass, Thai basil, holy basil, and I can't remember what else. I'm impressed that you remembered five of them. Hey! Time to get started. Is there a secret to peeling the garlic? If you're hungry, you better move fast. <laughs> <laughs> Down. The noodle will be cooked if you're not sure. Okay. I'm used to with the heat, I'm okay for you, might be hot. <laughs> <laughs> we said cooking is an art, presentation also important. Organize them a little bit, yeah? We have to test the sauce before we taste it in the meal. What is it? Thai chili. Use the vegetable oil. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of it. What do you think? Okay. How confident do you feel that you're gonna make good pad thai after those instructions? It's pretty quick moving. I'm sure I'm gonna burn something. I think I can do it. 
If the pad time tastes half as good as the spatula does, I'm gonna be happy. We're gonna make soup next before pad thai gets cold. That is the best batch I ever. All right, now that we have some food in our stomachs, we're going to make some more. We're making Penang curry. Taste. Taste. Team Penang. <laughs> yeah. You put the seed in here. You hold it like that. One hand cover. And smash. You know, to grab everything, and we don't use. Uh, food processor here. This is the own traditional style and the taste of the curry pit when you pound them much better because when you pound them in good and mix well it needs more flavor. Smash away. Yeah, the chair. Smash away. Here we are, no food processors here. Just Bob's elbow grease. <laughs> Thanks Bob. I'd say we're at a good 15 minutes worth of pounding. with the beautiful mmm now we're making one of my favorite do you want to have a spring roll rolling competition let's do it let's see who can make the best spring. all right and yeah, there's a lot of Strategic parts to remember. Oh wait. Rough side up or down? <laughs> Way to remember the first strategic part. Wow, let me sit. I think you did pretty good for my first one. My turn. We've marked off the spring roll, the pad thai, the hot and sour prawn soup, and we smashed up the curry paste. So this afternoon, we're gonna be making the Penang curry with pork, and my favorite, the mango sticky rice. It's the curry paste that we pounded and the coconut that we shredded and squeezed and cooked. This is probably the freshest meal I've ever made and eaten. Feast number two. Tell me how the curry you worked so hard for is. Actually, we should rephrase that. The curry that Bob worked so hard for. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. I've been waiting for the mango sticky rice all day since I saw it on the menu this morning. Mm. Best you've ever had. I think it's the sweetest I've ever had. So good. So and good. it's purple. Better than any of it that we've had on the street.
special cookbook for you all. Oh. This is adorable. <laughs> look inside, look inside. That's my recipe. You can try to make at home. You have an idea, the technique you learned from me today, you know. I'm gonna make all of these. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I'm very really pleased to have you in our home. Thank you. We just got back from a full day cooking class at the Thai Secret Cooking School. The cooking instructor's name was May and she made the whole day. She was so funny and so good at being so patient with me when I'm really not that good at cooking. Kara's supposed to cook me lots of good meals when we get home. Because we got these really cute cookbooks. I don't know if we're supposed to put this in the vlog. This might be their secret. Today was a blast. Thanks, Thai Secret Cooking School. Remember, YouTube decides whether or not they want to share this video with the world based on how much engagement it gets. So if you liked it, or if you just like us, you can give it a thumbs up, or if you're feeling crazy, leave a comment. Roll the bloopers. It doesn't look crazy. Right. It's called volume. Okay. <laughs> See, so some women here. Mm. Organic. <laughs> Make sure that you save. If the women can eat, you can eat too. <laughs> For some reason, the table's gone quiet. <laughs>